Hey y'all, welcome to season two, episode 2,578. Just kidding, we have lost count. So <laughs> if you've been watching, I mean, you know how fun our show is. So welcome to whatever episode it is. Yes. And yeah, we're just glad to finally be back, me and Zeta. So March Madness, the tournament's still going. You guys had a pretty nice run. Um, you wanna talk about like the first two games? Yeah, um, I mean, you know, we were excited to play in the tournament, and we didn't go nearly as far as we wanted to, um, but, I mean, I feel like we left it all out there um, whenever we did play, and we just couldn't finish the game, but we learned a lot from that. You know, we have 11 returners, um, which is really, really unique, um, and so we just are able to build on, you know, what we learned from this year, and I'm really excited to see what's to come. Me too. So did you watch any of the games last night? Yes, I watched both. Um, I was, it, they were really good games. I thought the Iowa LSU game was very, very good back and forth. It was a high scoring game, yeah. um, which you don't see like a ton, a ton in like the NCAA tournament. And so I thought that was cool. And I mean, you see great players playing against each other and competing and Wish I was in that position, but to see, you know, people do it and have fun with it, it's still, you know, exciting for the women's game. Yeah. I'm, I was, like, watching the LSU and Iowa game, mm -hmm. and I had fell asleep during the fourth quarter. <laughs> but I don't know actually when I fell asleep, but I fell asleep. Yeah. And I woke up, and the game was still going. I know. It was that a was long one. That was super long. Yeah. And usually basketball, I feel like they're kind of quick, quicker. But that was just so long. I know. But it was just both. back and forth the whole game. Yeah. And then Iowa kind of took away with it, so. Yeah. Okay. So women's basketball is, like, really growing. Especially I thought this year started, more people started watching and more people started posting about it. I see it all over my Twitter. And it's not just the men's sports, but women's sports are just, is, they're all, all the sports are growing. So do you want to talk a little bit about it? Yeah, for sure. Um, I definitely feel like, you know, the women's game is trending in an amazing direction just because of how much more viewership, I guess, we've gotten this past year. And, you know, it's it's building a great platform for so many people. And, you know, it gives us, you know, something to be excited about. You know, we're student athletes. And so to be able to see how much attention we are getting, um, it's just really fun to be a part of, and I'm really thankful that I'm at a university that is amazing and puts me in a position to succeed in, you know, all aspects of my life. But, yeah, I mean, we have 11 returners, like I said, and it's, it's going to be really, really special just because we've grown so much. You know, we learned a lot from this past year um, about ourselves and, you know, where we need to go to get back to, you know, Tennessee basketball um, and what it's all about here. And... I'm just really excited because I love every single one of those girls and whoever, you know, might transfer in or whatever, I'm going to accept them with open arms. Mm -hmm. And so I'm just really excited. Yeah. And it's my senior year. So it is. That's weird. <laughs> that's but so sad. I know. Gosh. Dang. But it went by fast. It went by so fast. Because this year is about to be done. Like, I only have two months left of softball. That's and I feel like it just started February, like, Two days ago. I know. Oh, that's insane. Because you're I, a senior, yeah? Yeah. Okay. But that's what happens when you're just, when you have so much fun at a university that you love and yeah. the people that you're surrounded with. I know. It makes everything go by quick. I just love Tennessee. I know. <laughs> <laughs> I do. <laughs> I really do. I, I know. I was thinking about it today. I was like, dang, like, I'm not going to be here in two years. <laughs> no. Gosh, but it's bittersweet because of yeah. how many memories like I've made here and how many people I've met and I know that. what if we never met I would have been that would have been, been really disappointing bad. yeah because like great We're person great person exactly two peas in a pod I know so Joel was supposed to be on the show tonight but you know life happens so she just announced that she was coming back I know, I'm super excited. Love Jewel. Yes. Uh, she's a great teammate, great player, and so I'm really excited that she chose, you know, to come back and play with us for one more year. See what happens when you love a place so much? I you know. decide to come back. Look at that. I know. I wish I had an extra year to play. I mean, I'll be here for So you don't a have a COVID years. year? 
No, because our sport is in the spring. Oh. And so... That's weird. Yeah, it is. I don't know. <laughs> I wish I had an extra year. So now that it's officially off-season, yes. what does off-season look like for your basketball? Yeah, I mean, we go back to eight-hour weeks. So we got, we're getting two <sighs> weeks off after the tournament. So that's what, like, is allotted, I believe, from the NCAA, mm-hmm. or one week, two weeks, whatever it might be. But anyway, so we have eight-hour weeks. So, I mean, we'll still get in the gym. We'll um, probably do pickup. And and things are definitely going to look different this year. You know, it's a new year, new team, just new mindset. You know, mm-hmm. all of it's going to be new. So I'm really excited to be able to get back in the gym and with my teammates because yeah. – uh, we play a lot of pickup, and that's where we just kind of see, like, how we're going to be able to play with each other for the year, I guess. And it's just – it's exciting, too, just because we have, you know, some people playing that were, weren't able to play last year, like um, Talasia, and then Kanaya is our only freshman. So she'll be able to play next year, too. And then Destiny's still recovering from her surgery – or her injury. Yeah. So I met Destiny in the training room when we were – both doing our recovery rehab for our, mm. our injuries. Yeah. But she's a nice person. She barely did. She barely talked to me. I wasn't one talking to her <laughs> all the time. Yeah. Uh, but she's, she seems nice and cool. No, she's really nice. Yeah. She's funny. She has like, she's kind of like me at first, mm-hmm. how me and you yeah. were. <laughs> like, I'm very, you know, quiet and then I yeah. get out of my shell. Yeah. That's exactly how she is. And so, but yeah. yeah. Okay. Tell the fans one thing about Lady Ball basketball that they don't know. Okay. Like my teammates and I? Mm. Yeah. Okay. Hmm. We are very what's the word? I don't know. We have very big personalities but then you have a few people that are like on the shyer side Mm -hmm. so we kind of balance each other out but it's just we have really funny moments with each other (laughs) and it's it's hard to explain but what's one thing you're gonna miss about the senior class um I would just say it's different with all three of them just because I had of course different relationships with them like with Rakia I really looked up to her within her game because I mean, she's a very versatile player, and I am as well. And so to be able to see what she was able to do um, with us surrounding her, I feel like that's just a great opportunity opportunity for me to learn from her. And, I mean, she's probably going to go third in the WNBA draft. Yeah. So, I mean, yeah. what a better person to learn <laughs> from. Um, and just with how, you know, confident she was in herself and everything, um, and then me and JP, we constantly were joking, like, in practice, like, in games, like, because we have the relationship where we can go from serious to funny mm-hmm. to back to serious with, like, <laughs> in an instant. Yeah. Um, so I'm really going to miss her just because, like, she understood my jokes. Like, you understand my jokes? Yeah. Like, she understood my jokes like that. <laughs> Your jokes are so, funny. They, to an extent, to some yeah. people, but like we always laugh with each other, so that's really fun. And, um, you know, she was a good, calm, cool, collected person on the court, and so that's what I strive to be like. Mm-hmm. And, um, and then TK, of course, she's been here for five years, and um, I just became really close with her because I've been here every year with her since I've been here, and um, just what she's gone through and how much she's overcome and how strong she is. I really look up to her in that aspect. And, you know, she's somewhere, someone I know I can call and she's going to immediately answer and like, what's up, Sarah and whatever. So I'm just really thankful to be able to play with all three of them. And I'm just excited, you know, now for who's coming back Mm -hmm. and who we're going to possibly get from the portal and just this next season. Yeah. Favorite memory from the tournament? Um, I would say, gosh, that's a hard one because we really, this year we all, like, were really connected, I guess, like off the court more. And so we just, we had a lot more fun together, like in the hotel and um, like on the bus and stuff. And so that was really fun and it translated 
over to the games. And so for this past year, probably just how much we had grown in that aspect of, you know, you know, being together constantly yeah. and um, just having each other's backs. So, yeah, I think, I mean, our team has grown closer together too. And it just yeah. makes playing on the field so much easier because you know them off the field. So in the fall we do these, we have to have, well, yeah, in the fall we do dates with each other. Like, oh, okay. So we'll go yeah. get coffee or do something or have lunch together in Smokies. Like we all have to do one-on-one -on -one with everybody. Mm -hmm. And that just makes it easier to like get to know each other. And yeah. cause obviously in the fall there's new players, something could have happened and you just want to talk about it with your teammates so that they know what you're going through or stuff like that. But I think the togetherness that our team has is is, is special and it, like softball is just our sport like yeah we're gonna be friends long after this sport and I'm obviously grateful that our sport brought us together but the togetherness is my favorite part about our team yeah no I definitely feel like with a smaller group right now like we have 11 people now so it's kind of like we're already p playing pick up with each other yeah. so I feel like that's you know, a really good start to the next year um, because we all took our time like after we lost and just, you know, took a mental reset just because, mm -hmm. you know, we did want to go farther, of course, than we did. And now it's just we're already bouncing back and yeah. I'm really proud of us for that because some teams may not do that as quickly mm -hmm. and it may be harder for other teams, but I feel like we've done a good job of just, you know, like you just said, staying together and being connected off the court and on the court and so I'm just I'm really proud of us for that and it's a good sign of growth yep. and like I said the whole time I'm excited I know I mean it's just my senior year so that's why I'm like constantly yes, yes. excited but um because I know it's going to be a good one but my advice for you for your senior year is just to <laughs> just have no regrets yeah you don't want to finish your season and say oh, I wish I could have done this I wish I did that. Just yeah. do it. Yep. That's my plan. But have fun. Oh, boo. oh <laughs> it's crazy. Like I'm like I'm a senior. Yeah. Oh. Well, literally went by basically. Fast. I know. Well, thank you guys for joining us on the Players Lounge. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and comment who you want to see on the show, what you want us to talk about, and we will do that for you. Bye. Bye.